<laughs> hello, 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 hi. Welcome to my channel. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for coming back. And if you've just bumped into this channel, hello and welcome. Do the things. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Let's also interact on social media. I am k 2 Tierra on Twitter and on Instagram. <laughs> Let's get right into today's video. So today I will be going through the talk program website with you guys. I will be going through the application forms and just kind of explaining what's in the application forms and what it, some of the things mean and just make it a little easier for you to fill out your forms. So open your search engine and type talk Korea program or talk program in Korea. You will see it will come up. Then I choose the first one. Then this will come up. When it first pops up, it will tell you not to trust this site, but it is okay to trust it. Then the one side is the epic side and all the eligibilities and the requirements. You teach middle, elementary or high school, metropolitan and provincial areas. You teach for 22 hours and you need a degree or more. On the talk side of things, you teach, it's an educational scholarship. You teach only elementary schools and also you teach in rural areas only but not really sometimes you'll be lucky enough to get a city click on the go to talk and that page will pop up this is what you will first encounter or find and then go to new application and type go not type click go and then you will select the term that you want to come maybe february 2020 intake or whatever other intake you want then type in your email address if you don't have one please create one and then create a password for your account as well click submit and then log in once you log in the, go to my page and then this is what you will find the four uh, categories you will first go into application a which is the profile and then additional information photo and then the essay and medical assessment that will be application b then you will see the directions telling you how to fill in and whatnot first name middle name last name as they appear on your passport as you move down, you fill in your date of birth, month, day, year, your gender, and marital status. Marital status, yes or no, are you married or not? Korean heritage means, do you have a heritage to Korea? Were you born in Korea? Are any of your parents Korean? I believe something like that. And then dual or multiple citizenship means, do you have more than one citizenship like do you have citizenship in more than one country and then you will also state if you have a permanent or temporary residency in your country of residence if you do not have korean heritage select no Re i have read and understood the guidelines for korean nationality status check you don't need to do that if you're not a korean national Contact information, you will of course put what is needed and then emergency contact. I put my mom, her address, city, Pretoria, province, Gauteng, zip code and country, South Africa. Then you move on to the education, elementary school, you put in when you started, when you ended, which is usually like January to December. Just remember which years you started and then the name of institution will be the name of the school and of course middle, high school and university. You will select your current year and then your major. 
I had to go up and really fill in this information because it wouldn't let me pass to the next page until I filled all of this in. So I had to kind of do it for you guys. So yeah, date of birth, as you see, like I said, I had to redo this, really put in the information, otherwise I couldn't go to the next page. Place of birth, South Africa, Ireland, America, Canada, New Zealand, or whatever one of the seven native speaking countries. Once you're done, you press save and then next then you will move to the next page application a additional information you pick your contract do you want a six months contract or a 12 month contract if you've had teaching experience you can just say yes and specify or no then you do a survey how did you learn about the top program and then you fill it in right there if you have any korean influency you can say intimate or low or whatever even if you say low they won't reject your application when i came to korea the only thing i knew how to say was anyang haseyo which means hello then you select all the relevant places or the relevant sections remember at the end of it all you have to print out and sign by hand and don't scan it back to send it to them pick the sole office and then application a i specific personally took a picture with my phone and then i uploaded it i just made sure i looked proper formal and good but i did not need to go out there and take a professional picture i just used my phone then you can download the file and put the picture on. Then move on to application B, word file template. You can download application B so that you can print it and you can hand sign it. But for your essay, you can type your essay. It's okay. And you can print it afterwards. If you have any tattoos, do mention it. But I only mentioned my tattoos that are visible and then you will type your essay you can hand write it or you can type it on your computer also remember you will live alone and most likely with the talk program you might live in a rural area but you could also live in the city like me and then you will get 1.3 million korean won as an entrance fee if you're on a 12 month contract you will get it again as an exit fee but if you're on six months you only get it once and if you extend then you will get it again at the later stage And then we will do application B. I advise you to go to the frequently asked questions and see if there are any questions that you have that might already be answered. The recommendation letter you need to, I, you have to submit or give them to two different entities. For example, I gave one to my church to fill it in and another one to my former job they will also have to write a little bit about you and if you will be able to handle living abroad if you're mature enough for this life of a teacher abroad the medical condition assurance be honest they will also do a medical checkup the morning the first morning of their orientation don't be too stressed too much about it they just check simple thing they take blood they check your height your vision 
um yeah things like that they just want to see that you are healthy enough for this this is a sample of a lesson plan your all classes are 40 minutes long i will suggest that you choose grade 3 and 4 or grade 3 or grade 4 keep it as simple as possible because most of the kids in the rural areas have very very low english and also choose beginner choose beginner and this is a template or rather a sample where they're giving you an example of a lesson plan look at it don't stress too much this one is very very descriptive very detailed yours does not have to be detailed this much it should be well detailed though you will be on an e2 visa which you don't need an appointment for all you do is go to the website the korean website embassy website download the forms and then look at what they require submit them and then you will get your visa that is for current scholars who wish to extend your mentor teacher will know what to do with that form This is the notices on the talk website, the February 2020 intake. So the deadline will be the 29th of November for the online application. And then must arrive no later than the 13th of December at the office. So the document deadline. Try and keep up to date with that website. And then this is the order of how the whole process will probably go. You will complete your online application, interview, submitting materials. And then you will, you know, do your visa. And then complete your online application, arrange flights, obtain your visa, I guess, only then. Uh, attend orientation which was so much fun and then you will start talking you will finally start teaching if you do the february intake you will start teaching possibly the first week of march and orientation takes about two weeks plus minus so these are all the documents also that you will need application a they just you can download application a and all the other documents application b you can download you can also see what you still need to download or what you still need to get from this particular list this is all on the talk website and i will leave their dis their link to the website on my description box all the necessary documentations that you will need all the necessary information that you will need a contract from the 2019 23rd gen intake a sample of the contract so you will get it I hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful if you have any more questions please don't hesitate to ask them down in the uh comment section or also hit me up in the dm go into my dms and ask me any of the questions that you have i am looking forward to answering and helping you out 
if you have any suggestions for future videos things you would like to know more about please don't hesitate to put down a comment in the comment section and i will work on that for you let's meet on my next video for now it's goodbye and it's all love from me to you thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe Mwah.